His name is Dion K. What's up everybody? It's your girl B Octavia and I am back with another video. Welcome to or back to my channel. If you are new, my name is B Octavia. I'm 23 years old and I'm from Washington DC. This video will be me talking about a very unfortunate situation that occurred in Southeast DC. This unfortunate situation happened to be a police involved shooting. In the process of chasing said suspects or alleged suspects, police shot a 18 year old boy. As this has made nationwide news, this has appeared on the shave room and multiple blogs, etc. Also, the body cam footage of what happened was released the day after. The victim in this case, his name is Dion K. Now, I'm pretty sure a lot of people feel a lot of different ways about this scenario. And I'll get into a lot of those feelings today. And at least I can tell you how I feel, right? Initially, the police were saying that they got a call that there were that there were young men in a certain area with guns. Then, as we see on the body cam footage, the video starts with the police riding up and then hopping out of the car and chasing one to two people. Don't move. Don't move, don't move. I did see the moment where the victim did have a gun. And this is my thing about it though. Just because he had a gun, that doesn't necessarily mean he was the only one in the room. And I wanted to speak on this part especially because a lot of people don't understand what it feels like to come from a place like D.C. A lot of people would never know it if you not from here if you didn't grow up here a lot of people just wouldn't know it you wouldn't know the feeling and i say this all the time i know what it's like to be black but i have no idea what it's like to be a young black man and you may think oh he 18 he got a gun he a follower a lot of people in a lot of different states and cities you know around this age of 17 and 18 are really going through what soldiers go through and that's war a lot of young men are being targeted by other young men in in neighborhoods that look just the same neighborhoods is right close to each other i'm not giving this young man an excuse but i feel like a lot of people want to write off him losing his life because he had a gun i want to point out something else to you now there have been a many a times where We've seen on cops or, or whatever, right? And there is a cop and there is a suspect, quote unquote, you know, suspect. And this person has a weapon. Now, there are times when the weapon is pointed down and is not in a threatening position. And in that scenario, you have the opportunity as the police, as the feds, to talk this person into dropping the weapon. 
Now, there are other scenarios, right? Where the suspect has this weapon and instead of the weapon being in a down position, this weapon is pointed at people. This weapon is pointed literally at the cops. And you know what the cops be doing? If they white, they'll still try to talk them down. I remember I seen this one video and this dude was like wielding a machete. A fucking machete at the police. He didn't shoot him. He waited until the suspect got close and that cop got killed. Who, what, what the fuck? Did you think just because the suspect wasn't black that he would see you and he wouldn't want to still wield this damn machete at your head? Does he have to be black for you to actually reach for your gun? And the thing about this scenario is they already had their guns drawn. Like, there was no drawing of the weapon. It was no time. It was no time to really see what what this quote-unquote suspect was going to do. Y'all give a lot of people opportunities to show who they really are. To build a case or whatever the fuck, right? So why didn't you wait those three, four, five seconds to see what he was actually going to do with that gun? Immediately after he is shot, the cop that shoots him is going to look for the gun. Hey, shot, shots fired, shots fired. Where is it? Where is it? But the thing about that was, how in the fuck did the gun get that far? Hi, listen, when I tell you I watched this so many times and I still can't figure it out. They shot him dead in the chest. You know, it happened so fast. How did he throw this gun when he's grabbing for his chest? How did he throw this gun so far? It still doesn't make sense to me. I mean, for the cop to really not know what area the gun would even be in, it was found on this side. He all looking on this side in the first place. Like, what are you? What are you doing? Where is it? Where is it? I don't know. I'm looking for the gun. He's up there. I did. Yeah, where's the... Hey! I feel so sad for my city because this is yet another thing that I got to come to y'all and talk about. That's negative, but it's a bigger issue. It's a way bigger issue because this is the first time that this has really been caught on camera in the district of columbia you know there there are many cases where the families of these victims take the police and the state to court you know because they feel like the police is liable for their loved one's death and they don't win sadly they do not win and we basing it all off of video proof and witnesses and all this, right? Well, we got it now. The real big issue, another big issue to this, is the police is too scared. These police out here is just way too scared to really do the job that they need to do. He was already caught. He wasn't going to try to shoot all of y'all. That don't even make sense. That doesn't even make sense. Him throwing the gun 
And that's not even throwing a gun in y'all direction. If we saying that this gun landed all the way over there from him throwing it, right? That wouldn't even be a threat to y'all. So why did y'all shoot him? It just doesn't make sense. I am not saying that this 18-year-old boy shouldn't have been doing something more productive. That's not what I'm saying. I'm disappointed at that, you know? Because I have a younger brother. And in a lot of situations that, that happen in the world with young black men, I do think about my brother. You know? And I would be just as disappointed in him. But we can't, we can't erase the police being at fault here. I don't want D.C. to go up in flames because of this. We can't ruin our city more than the police is trying to ruin us. We can't. The person that shot this 18-year-old boy should be arrested. He shouldn't have been out there on the field. I don't know what the fuck the screening process is. Can y'all screen for not only racism, but a fear towards a certain race why do y'all go out there and put this badge on if y'all fear a certain race or a certain shade i don't get that i don't get it was it wrong for him to have this gun yes shouldn't have had it 18 year olds young black men young black women 18 year olds period should be doing something responsible should be doing something safe should be doing something positive and productive and it's hard to do and it's hard to get into a schedule of doing that if you don't have those those positive role models i understand but as a DC native, one thing that I can tell you is if you don't have any role models around you, be your own role model. Be your own role model. And your role model don't got to be somebody famous. It don't got to be somebody with clout or, you know what I'm saying, don't got to be none of that shit. It could be you. Be your own role model train yourself to be productive because day after day we see it all across the world we see it all across the world how the police and the government have these certain vendettas against us and we we gotta smarten up we have to i can't imagine being in that position i can't imagine being dead at 18 years old, that's before you do a lot of things. That's before you experience life for real. And real life, you know? I'm talking about traveling. I'm talking about, you know, being married or, or being in a healthy relationship. Or just, you know, things that people that grow get to do. It's very sad that I have to come on here and speak on this, but I know I had to. I know I did. It wouldn't be right if I didn't. His life doesn't deserve to be ended just because he had a gun in his hand. You got to see, you got to you got to let people show their true colors. If he had a vendetta to kill police, he would have tried to kill y'all. Y'all caught him. What do people that's caught do? They throw the shit. It's a, it's a very sad situation that I wish didn't happen. It's a lot of problems when it comes to this. And I want you guys to leave your thoughts down in the comments. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And I will see you in my next video. It's your girl, B. Octavia. Bye.